We're gonna heal up. We're gonna heal up this last half heart first, and then we're gonna see just what this does. Okay. So right next to a creeper. What up, everyone? It's your boy FlozMG back in the world of Minecraft. In the previous episode, we decided to race our horses to see which one was the fastest. I still haven't been able to calculate all the times yet, so that will be announced in the next episode. But you can see what the checkpoints where they were racing. I don't think if you can, I don't think you can see the one all the way, or you can just barely see it. There was also a checkpoint right over here. They had to go through the dog track a couple times, which actually, actually, we could see all the checkpoints from here. You could basically get an idea of where they had to race, and. Yeah, so they raced, and one was faster than all the others, and they're going to win the horse armor. But that's not what we're going to be worrying about in today's episode. Today, we're going to become mad scientists, and we're going to conduct many dangerous experiments. Hence why I had to wait for nighttime. We're going to be making potions and see if they have certain effects that I think they're going to have on certain creatures. But before that, I still needed to do one more thing. My netherite helmet was getting pretty low, so we're gonna go ahead and we we made I went ahead and made a new one, so we're gonna go ahead and enchant this, and when this one gets pretty low as well, yep, they're gonna be combined. So what can we get? Fire prot one, blast prot two, or just prot four. Please be something more than just prot four. And prop four, respiration three! Wait, wait a minute, is, isn't that the enchantment that um, allows you to breathe underwater for a longer period of time? I'm gonna, need, I'm gonna need even less water breathing potions for when I go back to explore those monuments. That's gonna save me so many materials. But yeah, we, we're not even going to be wearing that today. Because we are going to be conducting experiments! The first experiment involves a potion of weakness. Where we are going to try and determine... I, well, I want to determine, can a potion of weakness weaken a creeper's explosion? But in order to carry out that experiment, we need to incorporate the scientific method known as PEMDAS! Oh no, wait, 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 wait a minute, that's math. No, the, the scientific method, if I remember correctly, is problem, where basically you have to create, uh, come up with a problem that you want to solve, a hypothesis where you theorize what you think is going to happen you need to conduct an experiment then you need to well to obviously see how it works then you analyze your results so your results and you use those results to come up to come up with a conclusion so problem hypothesis experiment results and conclusion otherwise known as Furk? Furk? Is that what we're gonna go with? If you don't get it, you can go furk yourself. Alright. So we need to we need to make some potions of weakness. Now let's see if I remember how to do that. Alright, it looks like to make a potion of weakness, I need a fermented spider eye. I forget how the hell I make that. Uh I need a mushroom and sugar. Alright, hold on, I have those upstairs. Alright, went ahead and made the fermented spider eye. So, let's make this potion of weakness. Then we're going to go and make it into a splash potion of weakness. And hopefully, we, we, get, we get the results we're thinking of. Alright, potion of weakness has been made. Now we're going to add some gunpowder, making it a splash potion of weakness. Alright. And here we have our splash potion of weakness. Minusing... 0.7 attack damage, um, lasting about a minute, seven seconds. All right, so now we just need to go and find a creeper. Well, actually, we need to do th two things. Well, ah oh, man, it's daytime. God damn it. Okay, hold on. We need to, we need to wait again until nighttime to do that. Actually, now that it's daytime, that gives me the opportunity to try out a different. Gives me an opportunity to try out a different experiment I want to, which actually involves a swiftness potion. And if I'm correct, well, basically the experiment is if two, like if two animals that have been affected by a swiftness potion, when they, when they 
make a baby animal, will that baby animal have the permanent effects of those two swiftness potions? Well, that's that's what we are going to test. And to make a swiftness potion, um, I think I I think I just need sugar, don't I? All right, add the nether wart. Make this an aqua potion. Then we're gonna add the sugar to make it a swiftness potion, and then the gunpowder to make it a splash potion and a swiftness. Awkward potion made. All right, sugar, make it a swiftness potion. All right, so yep, it is now a potion of swiftness, which applies plus twenty percent speed. Now let's go ahead and make this a splash potion. Here we go, a splash potion of swiftness. Bring it down to 2, 15, 2 minutes 15 seconds. Now we just need to go find a couple animals to test it on. And I wouldn't test it on any of my own animals, that'd be far too messed up! We're gonna try and, we're gonna try and test on either a couple of sheep or a couple of cows. Whichever ones we find first. Wait a minute, actually... I wonder if we can test it on these donkeys. Hmm. I mean, it, it, it's a bit of a stretch. Nah, we're, we're gonna save it for two animals that I definitely know. Cause, I'm not sure- Oh! Dang it, it's only one sheep. We need another. Wait, actually if this guy follows me until I find another sheep- Perfect! Hello! Second sheep! Quit it. Alright, perfect, I managed to find a second sheep. Which, I mean, they already have a baby, but we're gonna wait for the- we're gonna have the- Yo! The baby's pushing the other one away! Alright, hold on. Okay. Okay, if these two would just get a little bit alone, then I can- then I can affect them both with the splash potion of swiftness. Alright, and there we go. There you go. So they should be affected with the splash potion of swiftness. Now, if we just feed the two of them, and if they make an offspring, that offspring should have the effects of the splash potion of swiftness and be born just very fast. Oh dang it! I have no, I have no way to test it now, do I? Oh dang it! I don't I don't have any more wheat. Shit! Oh, I didn't think I didn't think this test through. But as but as it's looking right now, so far it what the. Oh, I got XP. So far as it seems right now, it seems this sheep is a little bit faster. It, it, it seems that way. Again, this is just a theory on how it's working. Well, since I brought the improper... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait a minute. He did seem, he did seem as fast as that sheep, but with no effects. Um, it's not seeming like it. It seems like they were going the exact same speed. Okay, wait for them to walk a little bit more, and... Okay, walk a little bit more. Uh, man. It, se it just seems like they were going the exact same speed, unless... Well, they're both following this one sheep. We need to observe a little bit more. It's not seeming like this sheep is any faster. It, do it doesn't seem like it. So, unfortunately, I believe we're going to have to deem this experiment with results... Negative for this experiment anyway It seems when testing a potion of swiftness on sheep and having them breed to make a faster sheep It seems that the results of that are not it is a negative But it is nighttime and I gotta say I love this sky. I love this sky right now But all right time to test out the next experiment Potion of weakness on a couple creepers all right, but first up, we're going to need a control, which, oh, come on, why the hell are you two here? Why are you three here? Die! Ow. Oh, yeah, fight each other, fight, okay. Dang, I thought you were going to fight each other, all right. Oh, uh, well, shit, got a bad omen. Oh, well, that's not what I wanted to happen. You interrupted my experiment! All right, but perfect, a couple creepers. So now... Wait, actually, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it near the theme park, though. So we're going to do it away. I... Hey, more potion ingredients. Thank you so much, witch. All right, so let's test it somewhere away from everything. And just hope that a couple of creepers will spawn. Oh, another witch. More potion ingredients. 
Oh, why didn't I should test a I should test an experiment on a witch? But I'm not smart enough to do that. All right, where is perfect? Okay, this will get it. This will get us our control. Actually, we're gonna go ahead and heal up a little bit first. We're gonna heal up. We're gonna heal up this last half heart first, and then we're gonna see just what this does. Okay, so right next to a creeper. Okay, right next to a creeper, an explosion takes off four and a half hearts. So now we're gonna test a potion of weakness on a creeper, and see if it ex if its explosion is any less. And we were right next to that creeper, even with all this armor. So. Let's see what a creeper explosion on a weakness will do. All right, perfect. Here's a creeper. So I'll throw the splash potion at him. Okay. Oh, shit. Baby zombie. Baby zombie. Okay. Wait, actually, let's just... Okay. All right. It seems that a splash potion of weakness has very minimal effect. It seems to have very minimal effect on a creeper explosion because by the looks of it we the zombie brought us down half a heart and the it looks like the creeper explosion brought us down another four hearts so if it does anything if the splash potion really did anything it only saved us about half a heart so maybe it te I think it technically worked it was a little bit weaker, so it didn't do as much damage, obviously. I'm about to test what happens when I... <laughs> die, zombie bitch. So I think we could say that the results from this experiment are that it does in fact work, but the effects are very minimal. What should my next experiment be? Actually, I think I heard somewhere that s certain mobs aren't affected by... Potions of poison. I, th I, th I think that's what I heard. So we're going to test which which enemy mobs cannot be affected by splash potions of poison. All right, so first we're going to need to turn these into awkward potions. Oh, dip. No, I didn't want to do that. Awkward potion. There we go. There we go. Now to add the spider eye, making it a potion of poison. Potions of poison made. Now let's turn them into at... Actually, hmm, I wonder if I should make them either lasting longer or even stronger. Hmm, no, because if I do that and then test them out on different mobs, I won't get properly accurate results. So we'll just make them splash potions and end it there. Here we go, splash potions of poison, which all last about 33 seconds. So, um, that's something. Alright, let's go see what is and isn't affected. Okay, daytime is coming, so I gotta hurry up before they get burned by the morning light. Alright. Mobs. Mobs. Oh, perfect. First, I want to test on a creeper, see if a creeper can be affected by poison. Alright, come on to a big of a flatter surface. Oh, shit, I affected myself. Okay, so it... Okay, so it... I accidentally affected myself, so it does seem that a creeper can be affected by a splash potion of poison. It seems that that is correct. But if I remember correctly, potions of poison also don't... Also can't kill. So that's a bit of a downside. Yep. So it seems that... Despite still being poisoned, it's not dead. And I don't think it can regenerate health either. So if... So basically, if you want to one... If you want to one-shot it, that's definitely a good way to go. So... Creepers can be affected by a splash potion of poison. Okay, ow. Oh, I for Yeah, I forgot my shit has thorns. Now, I want to get away from all the animals. And now test it on this zombie. There we go. What? Okay, um... Okay, so far it's seeming like zombie cannot be affected by poison. Ow. Okay, yep, I poisoned myself one more time, and yep, it seems that zombies are one of the mobs that aren't affected by poison. Well, considering that they are undead, that would make sense now that I think about it. So, that was actually a completely reverse effect that I thought it would have. I thought creepers would not be affected by poison, and zombies would. 
See, that's something you learn from an experiment. All right, now let's test. Let's test it on another mob, like a spider. Potions of poison are made with spider eyes. So, can something made from them also be something that hurts them? Let's find that out. I actually have a lot of spiders roaming around my house, so it shouldn't be that difficult to find one. Actually, it'd probably just be more efficient to go into the cave down here to find mobs. Whee! I swear to God, if I were, if I were, if I was, j if I was just gonna die right there, I would have lost my shit. And perfect, a spider. Okay, spider. Dang it! I hit myself. Oh, okay, it's seeming like spider is not affected by a splash potion of poison yet. Question is, can it be? Dang it, I missed. Come on. Okay, it would seem that spider is not affected by a splash potion of poison. That is really good to know. Alright, I still don't know if skeletons are affected by splash potions of poison, but we did learn something. Zombies and spiders are not affected by po poison potions, whereas creepers are. I thought it'd be the complete reverse, actually. But hey, we learned something new, and I think that's going to conclude all of today's experiments. I've been FlozMG, this has been Minecraft, and I can't wait to see you all in the next video. Mm.